These handmade men's shoes are for people who'll stop at nothing to look good. Not even the $1,300 price tag for these. Or $500 for these. Behind this craftsmanship is not an Italian designer, but Fred Diegbe, a young entrepreneur from Ghana. When I started this company, there are not many, many com companies in Ghana or in Africa trying to challenge the status quo of coming out with a luxury brand from Africa. Um, so I believe that we are different because we are doing luxury in a, in a continent that has almost been written off in terms of quality. No, it's, it's not, then it's okay, fine. Fred is 31, no, so bad, so. and until a few years ago, he worked for a bank. How was the exam? He decided it was time for a change of career one day while he was out shopping for some fancy footwear. I saw a shoeshine boy walking by. So I, I run outside and I asked him, hey, can you make these shoes here in Ghana? And he said, no, um, it's impossible. With his own brand, Heal the World, Fred wants to prove that it is indeed possible to make high-end shoes in Africa. He employs 12 people and sells around 40 pairs a month. Fred is lending new prestige to the ancient craft of shoemaking, a profession with plenty of potential. Many of his clients come from abroad, as do his suppliers. It took him a while before he found a suitable leather producer from South Africa. Manufacturing in Africa is very difficult. Um, uh, it's, it, it takes a lot of things to make one thing happen. Nelly Hagen Abuagje is well acquainted with the challenges. She's a qualified nurse, but she chose to become a designer instead. Ghana is experiencing a serious energy crisis, so a generator is powering the sewing machines. Despite the obstacles, Nelly's efforts have been crowned with success. Her clothes have already been showcased at fashion events around the world. Coming from here and having such quality, it means a lot for me. We've been referred to as the dark continent for as long as I can remember, and we want to make a change. Fred and Nelly met each other through their business ventures. They got married last year and now run their businesses together. Soon they want to consolidate production. I am now in charge of business development, more like the marketing and, and branding and selling of the products. And my wife is now the creative director and the production head of both of our lines. Necktie. Their first project is already in the works. Fashion for well-heeled gentlemen. 